Hi, it's me, Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will introduce Eki Island, a remote island in Japan and the place of my roots. It's a small island with a population of less than 30,000 people, but it's home to rich natural scenery and historical sites. I also show you a few of my Japanese style houses built by a colleague of his grandfather, and they left there. High quality Iki Wagyu beef and seafood wholesale to the famous sushi restaurant in Ginza and Berry Shochu with the history of over 400 years. Iki's famous places and Iki's nature, as well as places of childhood memories, will be introduced at the end of this video. Of course, it's a great place for couples and travelers. Let's take a look inside the island together. Access to Iki Island from Tokyo is a two-hour flight from Narita to Fukuoka and a one-hour jet ferry ride from Hakata Port. Having arrived on the island, we first headed for the house we owned. This time, I went to the Roger supermarket on the island to buy groceries for my one-week stay. Iki beef is one of the rarest and highest quality Japanese wagyu beef. Of course, there are also fresh fish next to the island. Iki shochu receives a geographical indication as Iki shochu, and its quality and traditions are internationally recognized. We will return home and prepare dinner. This time, I got Iki beef brand back wagyu beef for twenty-five dollars and. I'm gonna grill it. Today's dinner accompaniment is Yokoyama, a sake made from rice grown on the island. Iki has an abundance of spring water, so both the rice and sake are of high quality. Only vegetables used in the grilled meats are also grown on the island. Iki beef is sure to impress you with its delicious taste once you try it. The weather is beautiful, so the morning starts with cleaning the garden. Unlike Tokyo, the morning air on the island is very clean and present. Here's a little look inside my house built by a colleague of his grandfather. The house built by my grandfather is decorated with many of his own works as a calligrapher. His particular attention to detail can be seen in the wood grain work on the ceiling and the single setter imported from Akita in northern Japan, more than 1,500 kilometers away. Here are some of the sights to see on this island. This is a popular tourist attraction and they can name the Sariwa because of its shape. The area around Sariwa is a place where visitors can enjoy beautiful coastlines and abundant nature, where nature walks and hiking can be enjoyed. Although the area can be visited throughout the year, the mild weather from spring through fall is especially recommended. On a clear day, the contrast between the sea and the rock is even more beautiful. We 
Monkey Rock has an old legend and is a familiar spot for the locals. Ike itself is a place with an ancient history, and you can enjoy a walk through history along with sightseeing. This facility is known as a place where you can interact with dolphins in the rich natural environment of Iki Island. Here you can not only interact with dolphins, but also enjoy a full range of programs including retreat experiences such as dolphin yoga, where you can enjoy yoga and play with the dolphins. Opened in 2019, the Surreal Grove is located on a hillside about 5 minutes drive from the port and offers beautiful sea views. The deer of the day is tuna from Iki. Ginza in Tokyo is the holy land of sushi in Japan and Sushi Awoki, one of the three major sushi restaurants in the area, also sells this tuna. You can get such a high quality large fatty tuna part for about 10 dollars for this block. The Gangai Sea, where Iki Island is located, has broad waves, so you can also enjoy other fresh, fatty, and delicious fish such as amberjack and horse mackerel, etc. Today as well, we will have Yokoyama, a sake from Iki. Iki has many sake breweries and a 400 year history. After enjoying the fish, it's time for the meat. Sukiyaki is one of Japanese traditional nabe dishes. It consists mainly of thinly sliced beef, cooked with vegetables, tofu, shiitake, and other ingredients. Of course, Iki eggs are used for sukiyaki. It's also fresh and rich. The sweet and spicy meat is dipped in egg and served. Try it when you come to Japan. with the place that holds a special place in my childhood memories. Of course, this is a great place for couples and travelers. The park includes a lighthouse, a shrine, and other historical buildings located along the coast. The rocks are fun to see small fish and Spanish crabs in the evening as the tide recedes in the morning. It also offers a view of the ferry from Hakata Port in Fukuoka. This is the only large bridge in Niki, and it's the first landmark that catches the eye when entering Gonora Port, the main entrance to the prefecture by ferry. It serves as a bypass for the Gonora urban area, and its silhouettes shine both in the morning and evening. It's impressive. How was this trip to Wiki? I hope you all had a great time. Iki is truly a fascinating place, and this trip was a special memory for me. Beautiful nature, delicious food, and warm people. It was an unforgettable experience. I'd like to continue to share the charm of Iki with as many people as possible. Well, goodbye, Iki. Until we meet again.